are you finding it difficult to move somewhere from the background especially if you want to change the background if yes in just few minutes i'm going to show you how to properly remove subjects from the background and replace your background inside of photoshop so once you open photoshop after you finish doing your skill retouching and everything just create a stamp visible layer by pressing on command option shift e or ctrl shift alternate e after that i'm going to crop my image 4x5 because i want to post this image on instagram so i'll come to my crop tool click on ratio and click on 4x5 right here so i really love for you to follow along and to follow along i'll be the link to this welfare in the show below i'll also be leaving a link to this background right here in the show below as well because it's what i want to use for this image so i'm going to crop this image 4x5 so once i change my ratio to 4x5 i'm just going to copy the way i want it so once i copy the way i want i'll click on this fill right here change it to pointed away fill and just click on ok now after that what i'm going to do i'm going to create another stamp visible layer by pressing on command option shift e i don't want to affect anything below this new layer i just created all right so after creating a stamp visible layer i'm going to pick on any selection tool so the quick selection tool works for me so i'm going to click on the quick selection tool now from here before I click select subject, I want to make sure my enhanced edge is selected. Then I'll click on this job that I right here and make sure my cloud is selected because selecting clouds gives a more detailed selection. So I'm going to click on cloud and I'm going to click on select subject. All right. Now Photoshop is just going to do its thing. Now if I zoom in, you can see the selection is not looking accurate, but we are going to fix it. I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay. So for me, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to invert the selection right now. So I'm going to invert the selection by pressing on Command Shift I or Control Shift I. Once I invert the selection, it's going to select the background instead of the subject. Now for me, I want to press on Command J or Control J. Now if I hide all my subjects layer, you are going to see we have only the background. So let me just turn my subject layer on like that. All right. Now. For more understanding, I'm going to rename this top layer background. Remember, I want you to follow along. So I'm going to rename this layer background and rename this layer three subjects. So we have our background layer and we have our subjects layer. Now next thing I'm going to do, with my subjects layer selected, right now you can see my subjects layer is selected. With my subjects layer selected, I'm going to hold command or control and click on this background icon. Not the name, or not the background name or the layer, Make sure the icon which is this picture of the background so hold command or control and click on this layer thumbnail once you click on it you are going to see the selection it's going to bring back the selection so instead of making the selection again we can just use our existing selection now for me what i'm going to do i'm going to invert my selection again and this time make sure my subject is selected remember to invert we're going to press command shift i to invert once we invert we are going to add a layer mask to hide the background so i want to add the layer mask once i add the layer mask we've added the background so for me what i'm going to do i'm going to come to my background layer and just drag it below my subject layer now after dragging my background layer below my subject layer what i'm going to do i'm going to bring in the new background we want to use for our image so i'll come to this image right here just copy it or if you already save it if you download it as service just click and drag it inside of photoshop so i'm going to copy it ctrl c to copy come here ctrl v or command v to paste now once i paste it sometimes you're going to have it above your subject if you have something like this just click and drag the background you want to add below the subject layer and it's going to be behind our subject layer so make sure the new background is behind our subject layer all right now for me just press your ctrl t to bring the transform tool or command t to bring the transform tool so just resize it the way you want so hold alternate or option and just resize it the way you want like this so that this works for me i'm going to click on ok all right so see the before and the after now if i zoom in you can see these selections right here are not that good so let's want to bring back the finger right here what i can do i'm going to click on my subjects layer on the layer mask on my subjects layer pick my normal brush tool make sure the foreground is set to white because black hide and white will be since we want to reveal it right here, make sure the foreground is set to white, opacity is set to 100, fully set to 100, mode is normal. Make sure you're using a soft round brush and just paint on this part right here to bring them back like so. All right, so you can take your time to do it just like that. So I'll come to this part, 
if I want to remove this part, I switch to black. So make sure your foreground color is set to black. Just switch to black and just paint on black to remove it like so. All right. So I'm going to paint on this part right here just to remove it like this. All right. Also, remove it from inside this part right here. So when you're doing it, make sure you actually take your time to do it. So if I want to add this part, switch to white brush and just add this part like so. All right. So I'm still going to remove this part like this. Remove this part like this for a more accurate selection. Okay. But I'm still going to refine the edge later. I'm going to show you how to do that inside layer and mask. So I'm going to come to this side and just add this part to this selection. Also, X to switch to a black brush, remove these parts from the selection. Just like this. All right. So you get the point. So you can just look at your image and just add what you want to add and where to. So I'm going to add this part to the selection, which is the earring. Just going to add this earring to the selection. So just like this, I come to this other earring and just add the earring to the selection. Like this. Remove this part, switch to X, remove this part. So like I said, just take your time when you are doing it. All right. I think like this works for me. So for the rest of the image, we are going to do it inside of refine and mask. All right. Now to go to the refine and mask menu, with the separate layer selected, double click on the layer mask. And it's going to open your layer and mask. Now from here, just scroll the way down to refine mode. We have the object aware. So you can choose any one. But for me, I like using this color aware. So I'm going to select color aware. With my color aware selected, I'm going to scroll all the way down. I come to this aspect settings. Click on the contaminate color like this. I'm going to change the amount to about 90. 90 works for me. All right. Now from here, you can choose to click on refine hair. So let's click on refine hair and see what's going to happen. All right. So you can see Photoshop try to refine the hair for us. Now to refine it even more, just select your refine edge tool. Once you select your refine edge tool, you can just look at my settings. This place is on plus. It's on hard brush. Sample order is not checked. So just paint on where you want to refine. So especially the edges. So I'm going to paint on the edges just to refine the edges just like that. So I'm going to paint on the edges to refine it and give it a more accurate selection like so. So I come to this part and just brush on the hair right here for a more accurate selection. So I'll do the same thing for this side right here to get a more accurate selection. All right. So from here, you can just look at your image and see where you want to refine. So let's say this line, right? I don't like it. I'm going to refine this part. So I'm just going to come here and just refine the edge of the clothes like this to just make everything blend. Also, I'll do the same thing for this other side and just refine the edge. So basically, you can do this for the edge of your image to get a more accurate selection. So let's just wait for it to load so you can see it's looking more better. Now from here, under this output tool, change to new layer and mask and just click on OK. And we are back to Photoshop. So right now you can see we have um, subject layer copy. So I'm going to delete this original one because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to delete this one. And right now you can see if I zoom in, just take a look at the image. You can see how good it is. All right. Because we refine the edge. All right. Also take a look at the hair. You can see how good it is. Now for this part right here, you can choose to add them back. Like I said earlier, select the layer mask, pick a normal brush tool, change it to white brush and just paint on this part to bring it back like so. All right. So let's see the before and after. See the before and the after. The before and the after. And to make it look even more realistic, just going to add noise to the background. With the new background selected, just come to the actions and just add noise right here. And by the way, if you need my action, I'll be leaving it in later this video as well. So I'm just going to reduce the opacity a little bit like this. And this works for me. And let's see the before and after. See the before and the after. So this is how you can properly remove your subject from your background and change the background for a studio picture like this. And if you want to learn how I got this background, I fixed this image perfectly. Check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.